AirPods Pro are now out and they're honestly the best pair of wireless earphones you can get in terms of the overall package and how well they work inside the Apple ecosystem. But what if you're an Android user? Will they still work and sound great if you've got something like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus? The answer is yes, but functionality is a bit limited. More on that in just a minute, but let's first go through how to pair the AirPods Pro to your Android smartphone, as well as which features work great for Android users. First, make sure your AirPods Pro are in the case, then go into the Bluetooth settings and press and hold the button on the back of the AirPods case to enter pairing mode. Keep holding the button and then tap on the AirPods Pro when they show up in the available devices menu and you're done. One of the best things about AirPods Pro, regardless of which phone you use it with, is the fit, feel, and comfort. They fit great because they come with three different sizes of super soft silicone ear tips, and the best part is that the speaker grill itself is actually flush with the pod, so only the soft ear tips go into your ears. Unlike basically all other in-ear earphones that have a hard plastic tube that goes into your ear canal. But it doesn't stop there. The AirPods Pro have a venting feature that automatically equalizes the pressure inside of your ears to match the outside world, so your ears will never feel plugged, which is the worst thing about earphones that seal. These two things make the AirPods Pro the most comfortable in-ear earphones since basically ever, and it's the best reason you should actually buy them if you're an Android user. Most Android users will probably love the new short stem design compared to the old AirPods, so they'll look and feel great. And yes, the noise cancellation features work perfectly well on Android devices, just like they do with iPhones. And same with all the force sensing controls, including pausing and playing, skipping tracks, and cycling between noise cancellation and transparency modes. These controls work flawlessly on the Note 10 Plus. Noise cancellation is seriously amazing and it works well enough to make this feature alone worth upgrading from AirPods 2. But the transparency mode is actually the most impressive part, and it works great with Android phones as well. It basically uses a microphone to record your surroundings and then the speakers play it directly into your ears. So instead of everything sounded muted like you have earplugs in, it sounds like you have literally nothing blocking your ears. And one thing that people love about AirPods is the excellent microphone quality during calls. And yes, it's great on Android phones as well. It's also pretty awesome that Apple included a lightning to USB-C cable in the box. And since most Android phones come with USB-C chargers, you're pretty much set. And of course, the AirPods Pro case also supports Qi wireless charging, so you can avoid using the lightning cable altogether. The case is also pretty small and more portable than a lot of other earphones, which is one of my favorite things about AirPods. Now getting into sound quality, these sound absolutely amazing. The best way to explain it is that the AirPods Pro are more than loud enough while producing some of the most accurate sound quality out there. There are some competing earphones like the Galaxy Buds, Echo Buds, and Powerbeats Pro that produce louder bass, but the AirPods Pro beat all of them hands down in overall sound quality and accuracy. The AirPod Pros are also the best overall package out of all of these earphones, combining everything from IPX4 water resistance, active noise cancellation, incredible comfort, great battery life, awesome portability, and more, while each of those other options lack at least one or two things that the AirPods Pro have. Now let's go through the features that you miss out on if you use AirPods Pro on an Android smartphone. The Hey Siri feature obviously won't work to activate Google Assistant, so you'll have to use your phone, which honestly isn't a big deal. On iOS, you can customize controls so you can press and hold to access Siri on one side and use noise controls on the other. On Android, both sides will default to cycling between noise controls, which in my opinion is perfectly fine for most people. Of course, you also don't have access to the Apple ecosystem, which instantly sets up AirPods on the rest of your Apple devices that are logged into the same iCloud account. For Android users, that doesn't even matter at all. On iPhone, it's very simple to check your battery life by simply opening up the case next to your iPhone. Now, there actually are some apps you can download on Android to check battery life, but they don't work nearly as well as Apple's implementation. And finally, there's automatic ear detection on iOS, which automatically pauses your music when you take an AirPod out of your ear and plays it again when you put it back in. 
This is a pretty great feature that unfortunately doesn't work on Android, but now that you can easily pause music with a single press on the stem, it's actually quicker than taking your AirPod out of your ear. And even better, the new transparency mode makes it so that you can hear your surroundings and actually have a conversation with someone while wearing the AirPods Pro, as long as your volume isn't set too high. And a major plus is that you can take one AirPod out of your ear and put it into the case to charge, and your music will continue to play in the other ear. And when you take the AirPod back out of the case and put it into your ear, it'll automatically play a couple of seconds later, which is honestly one of my favorite AirPod features. So in my opinion, the AirPods on Android experience has never been as good as it is on the AirPods Pro. The many positives easily outweigh the small list of negatives, so in reality, I would greatly recommend the AirPods Pro to everyone, including Android users. If this video helped you out, you can use the link below to order some AirPods Pro right now from Amazon and help support the channel. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and tap that like button right there and click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. And be sure to check out our full AirPods Pro review right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.